Hey guys, my name is Brad Traversy and I'm an instructor with eduonics.com and today I just wanted to ask for a couple minutes of your time to tell you a little bit about the complete mobile technology course that we're currently working on. So if you're a web developer and you want to add mobile app development to your skill set, then this is the course for you. Alright, so this is an educational and project based course for web developers and designers that really want to dive in and learn how to create mobile web apps. Um, also hybrid apps and native mobile apps without having to learn a completely new technology or language like Swift, Objective-C, or Java. So everything we do in this course will be built using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript along with some helpful frameworks. Alright, so we'll be working with five mobile frameworks in this course. We'll be working with PhoneGap, also known as Cordova, which is a software development framework by Adobe that's used to build mobile applications. It doesn't require developers to have high-level programming knowledge. We can simply build apps with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and then wrap them in a native container. Okay, we'll also be using Ionic and Ionic 2, which is a UI framework that we can use along with Cordova, um, which gives us an Angular layer, which is a uh, JavaScript client-side framework, to build our application and gives us some really nice UI elements. Okay, jQuery Mobile is just that, jQuery for mobile devices. It allows us to build compact UIs, apps, and mobile websites. Okay, we'll also be using React Native, which is an awesome new technology that allows us to build not hybrid apps, but true native mobile applications. And it compiles and builds out real native components from JavaScript. Okay, it also uses the popular React library. And finally, we'll be using Meteor, which is a JavaScript framework for the front and back end. It uses a templating system, and it works with MongoDB um, on the client and the server side. All right, so let's take a look at what you'll gain from this course. So one, you'll, uh, you'll learn how to build cross-platform iOS and Android apps using just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Uh, no Swift or Java comp complicated programming. Uh, you'll also learn how to build hybrid and web applications and websites that can run in a browser as well as a native container. Okay, we'll have 25 projects using the technologies and frameworks that I just went over. Uh, we'll take a look at some of those projects in a minute. We'll also um, be using multiple dev environments in this course, including Windows 10 and Mac OS X. Uh, in addition to the projects, we're going to be looking at slides and information and statistics about the mobile app industry. Alright, so here's a list of projects planned for the course, and these are subject to change. But for Ionic, we have a, a news feed reader, a to-do list, a login with the Auth0 service, a business finder app, and a mail tracker app. For PhoneGap, we're going to be building a photo gallery, a, track, a tracker for workouts, a contact manager, which implements um, functionality from the contact list in your phone, a memo voice recorder, a geolocation app. For React Native, we'll be building a GitHub dev search application, which uses the GitHub API, a Google Books app, which uses the Google Book API. We'll build a custom web browser, a messaging app, and a project management app. For jQuery Mobile, we'll build a mobile website, an event manager, uh, movie listings, WikiFind, which uses the, Wiki, uh, the Wikipedia API, and then a weather reporter application. And finally, for Media, we'll have an idea manager, uh, a Magic 8-Ball application, a Spotify app, which uses the Spotify API, a real estate application, and a class scheduler for college classes. All right, so that's what we have in store. So if you really want to dive in and learn how to create great mobile apps using, for the most part, languages you already know, uh, then this is the course for you. And hopefully I will see you there.